Mora. I am the city manager uh, for Taxify, which uh, generally uh, means that I represent the interests of Taxify in Mombasa as well as Nairobi, the cities that we exist in in, in, in Kenya. We have had uh, issues with uh, security, uh, insecurity in, in the tuk-tuks. How will uh, Taxify help and curb that incident of insecurity in Mombasa? All right, this is one of the major things that we as Taxify um, have come to especially have impact on uh, security. Security is a huge uh, issue for us uh, as a country um, and this is the solution that we are offering as, as, as an app. Usually the standard uh, um, uh, way of hailing a taxi is by waving it down. There's no accountability, you do not know who is coming into your taxi, you do not know the history of the driver, there's no particular inspection or training that has been done for the driver, uh, so there's no sense of accountability. This is what difference Taxify is able to bring into the market. Uh, the driver has been trained on quality matters um, uh, over a period of time. We're able to inspect the documents that we ensure that the driver uh, has had his uh, certificate with the government uh, in, terms of, in terms of good conduct. Um, uh, and then also for the rider, uh, they, their names and numbers are registered on the, on the platform, which means there's some relative accountability. If there's an issue with the rider, you know, you can always have a paper trail of sorts to be able to follow up with the government uh, in that sense. So security is a huge um, a feature on, on our platform. And in the coming days, as we have already rolled out in, in, uh, in Nairobi and we're looking to roll out as well in Mombasa, is a feature that allows if the driver is in distress in any way, uh, there's a button that they can immediately press on the, on the app itself uh, to raise alarm 